Have you ever wondered if the bulbous domes of St. Petersburg, Russia are inspired by onions? Or maybe you have even stopped and thought about why many government buildings are modeled after classical architecture. We know crosses symbolize the Christian faith, but why do we integrate these symbols into our structures? Whether it be a feature or architectural element, let's take a look at some of the symbolism of architecture and its hidden meanings in buildings. And no, the domes of St. Petersburg weren't inspired by onions, but were made to look like candles burning. Symbols are important for us as a society since they have become a way for us to communicate without the use of words. Are you familiar with the ichthus fish? This popular image is still used today by people affiliated with Christianity. Architectural symbolism is so deeply ingrained in our culture that we often overlook it. But these symbolisms of architecture are not limited to a single element. They could even pertain to a certain time, class, or practice in a certain culture. Just take, for example, the White House and the Supreme Court building. You probably noticed that these two buildings' most prominent features are the columns, and the structures are designed in the classical style. One of the reasons why these two buildings, as well as many government structures, are built in the classical style is because of the regality and formality that it gives off. On the other hand, this style also implies the architecture of democratic Athens and Republican Rome. And if you remember your history lessons, you'd know that the voting system was first implemented in ancient Greece. So that's one way to integrate a certain historical aspect through architecture. But there are also instances where we honor and commemorate a certain event. To understand this better, let's take a look at Daniel Liebeskind's design for the Jewish Museum in Berlin. Liebeskind's work was dedicated to the lives of the Jewish people who lived in Germany, documenting their art and culture. What's striking about this deconstructivist structure is the zigzagging design that they called Between the Lines, while many others have called it the Broken Star of David. For the floor plan, his design was based on two lines with the structure zigzagging through the invisible line. The voids, which are empty spaces that pierce the building from the cellar to the roof, are located where the two lines meet. Inside the structure, sharp shapes, angular walls, and strange openings combine to provide unsettling rooms that are inspired by the erasure and void of Jewish life in Berlin following the Holocaust. As one of the most infamous events in history, remembering the victims of the Holocaust through this structure is a fine example of architecture as a symbol of power so that people will remember. The Jewish Museum's exterior features diagonal stripes that resemble the cross-glued windows that were designed to avoid shattering during bombings and are constructed of zinc-coated steel. Moreover, the light streaks on the pitch-black ceiling represent the searchlights in the dark sky seeking the military planes. The symbolism of architectural forms can draw inspiration from people and experiences, but nature remains one of the most popular choices, like a star. Being a component of sacred geometry, the geometry of the star contains a strong energy charge, so it is no accident that ancient forts and stars were so prevalent. One example of an iconic building akin to a star is the headquarters of the Department of Defense, the Pentagon. Designed by George Bergstrom, the structure's five-sided design was allegedly chosen to reflect the five U.S. military branches that served in World War II. The Army, the Navy, the Air Force, the Marine Corps, and the Coast Guard. As we said earlier, many of the architectural features we see in structures today are inspired by nature. Perhaps we just didn't know it at the time, like the domes. Since a dome is a form of enclosure, it conveys the symbolic significance of the circle and more. The hemisphere was seen as a cosmic canopy long before stone domes could be constructed, and throughout history, domes have been adorned with stars and astrological symbols. The dome came to symbolize universal power in ancient Rome. It moved from religious to royal and government buildings during the Renaissance, while preserving some of its meanings associated with power. Speaking of power, 
The Empire State Building in New York City was once the symbol of America's technological and economic power. Although it's no longer the tallest building in the world, it was the pioneer structure that launched the new age of skyscrapers and drove architects and designers to new heights. Nowadays, the use of symbolism in architecture is still being practiced, although at times modernism proved to be the more popular style. Still, many architects and designers are incorporating symbolism in architecture to tell a story and connect with people. After all, humans are social animals at the end of the day, so we're bound to seek connection one way or another. And lucky for us, architecture is here to let us experience and share connection either through people or the surrounding environment.